Hi friends and welcome back to another episode of the Not So Fairy Challenge. Um, I'm so excited to play through this episode. Before we do, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to keep up with more content to keep up with this series. And also thank you guys for almost 100 subscribers. Thank you so much. What the heck? Thank you, thank you. Um, but without further ado, let's get right into the video, okay? Because I'm so excited. Okay, so before we get into the game, you guys asked in the comments of uh, our episodes <laughs> to see Olive's outfits. So this is her every day. We see this one all the time. Um, this is her formal wear, which I absolutely love. She's so gorgeous. And then this is an up close of her little, little face. She's also very small, so... <laughs> There's an up close of her little, little face. Um, this is her athletic wear right here, which I think is so cute. And then also, this is her tattoo. It's really hard to see. Um, well, actually, I think we'll be able to see it on her swimwear. This is her sleepwear. So adorable. This is her party. She does have two party fits. So this is one that I think we saw in an episode, in the first episode. And this is her makeup. And then this is the second one. I I envision this is like kind of like a rave fit. <laughs> I don't know, it's so cute though. And here's her tattoo, you can see it really well here. It's like a little uh, space tattoo. Yeah, and then she has the same type of makeup. Gorgeous, gorgeous girl. And then we have her swim. She does have two here. So we have this one, which is really extravagant. <laughs> and then she wears like no makeup uh, for swimming. And then we have this one, which is just literally perfect for her. And then here's the tattoo really up close here. It's so pretty. It's like a little space, but it's in a paper clip. I don't... It's perfect. It's gorgeous, okay? <laughs> um, and then here's her hot weather, which we're going to be seeing a lot more of because it's summer now. And then finally, here is her winter fit, which we've seen already, and it is so adorable. But you guys also wanted an update on her skills, aspiration, and her uh, element collection. Her logic is at a four and her mischief is at a five. She's doing pretty good. So nine out of 15, she's missing one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, except I'm not too sure if this box right here is an element or not because it's empty. Then her aspiration looks like this. Uh, she's on the third part of her aspiration. She needs to achieve mischief level six. Um, and then she just has to do the last part. So we're making really good progress, I think. All right, so last episode, a lot happened. We almost died to a meteor. We started talking to a boy that we work with named Aleki. He's right here. We started talking to Aleki. Um, we got into a couple of fights <laughs> and then we got bitten by a vampire. We got bitten by Vlad. Al, why does it hurt? And I don't really know what to do with that information. She was mesmerized, so she doesn't really, like, know that she was bitten by a vampire. I don't think. Oh, Aleki. I'm delighted you recommended I spend some time with Loeth Vatori. I was amused the entire time. Oh, my God. He spent time with the vampire. He spent time with Lilith. Johnny spent time with Caleb. And then she got bitten by Vlad. Why are the vampires meeting all of us? Like, why are they, why, why are they obsessing over us? I, I'm kind of scared, honestly. Oh, we have work in like two seconds. Okay. We're going to join her for work. I think tomorrow I'm going to just send her. Um, because I don't really want to join her for work every single day, but I do want to talk to Aleki about Lilith. The royal beast. 
did do it. So these two are just catching up at work a little bit. Oh, she's taking over his computer. Cuties. Oh my god, her vampire bite. You can literally see it. Do you think he's going to notice? Do you think he's going to be like, girl, what happened? Okay, we're getting like a medal from him. But this is like a better shot of her vampire bite. That's crazy. I've never seen that before. Oh, he gave us a diamond. <gasps> She's autonomously flirting with him. She's uncomfortable, but she's still going to flirt. Oh, they're good friends now. That's so cute. Johnny. I can't believe it. They gave me the promotion. <gasps> we should throw a party. We should throw a party for us and Johnny because we got promoted as well. So we should throw a party for Johnny too because Johnny got promoted and he's our bestie. Oh my god, they're literally just flirting together. Oh my god. Stop flirting in front of everyone. Everyone definitely knows now. Oh. Yay, we did a good job. Okay, I'm going to send her, I think, alone tomorrow. Because I want to throw a party tonight. It's like a Tuesday. But like, Johnny and us, we deserve it. You know? We moved out of our place. Give us a call whenever you want to hang out. I wonder where he moved to. Okay, Johnny is making a lot of moves. We definitely need the throw party. So I got a mod where I can like throw a whole bunch of different parties. So um, if you guys want it, it's linked in the description. I have all the mods that I use in the description below. But now we can throw the celebration, which is got a promotion, ended a bad relationship, escaped death, celebrate it. So let's do that celebration. And we're going to be celebrating us and Johnny. Okay, and then we're going to invite a bunch of people. So we invited 12 people, and let's throw it at, not at the movie theater. I want to throw it at this little lounge right here. Let's do it at 10 p.m. Okay, yay, we'll be celebrating 10 p.m. So we're traveling to the party together, and this party is celebrating us and Johnny because Johnny got a promotion. Johnny also moved. We also got two promotions last week, I think. So, I mean, like, we deserve to be celebrated. Johnny deserves to be celebrated. He's our best friend. Okay, so <laughs> everyone's in their fancy little fancy little fits. Here's Alecky's. And then here's what? Olive's. Oh nah. my god, she's screaming. <laughs> you know, during, she's also meeting the vampire and talking to Johnny. We should toast him. Oh! Okay, we're gonna give a little toast to Johnny. This is cute. The bartender got out a drink. Oh no, she's working. Okay. So she's congratulating Johnny. She's literally. Oh, she's like, good job, Johnny. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I'm back at you. Hi, Candy. She's so pretty. Okay, so the girlies are catching up. Look how cute they are. Oh my gosh, she's so much taller than Olive. <laughs> okay, and she's also gonna tell Candy that she's talking to somebody right now. But they're kind of, they work together, so it's kind of a little bit messy, but she's talking to somebody and she's kind of excited about it. He's here. Yeah. And Candy's like, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Let's go find him, shall we? I would love him to like meet our friends. But Olive's kind of going through everything. She's kind of going through a lot, it seems like. Uh, these two are just flirting. They're just flirting while everyone is just hyping them up. They're like, yeah, go Johnny, go Olive. Oh. Where is she going? 
Where is she going? What are they doing? Oh, that was cute. Oh. Oh, they're so cute. What is happening? This is kind of creepy, actually. Oh! Yay! It was a memorable event! Okay, okay. They're just, like, talking. He's so stinky, and she's sitting at the piano. But everybody else went home. It's four in the morning. It's four in the morning. Okay, apparently we're staying the night. Let's go home. Let's go home. They're both going to be drunk at work. Yeah, we're definitely sending her in alone today. Go, go, go. Pee at work. Pee at work. Thank God. Thank God. Johnny would like to come over? Okay. Oh, Olive's just going to sleep. Johnny's here. Olive's sleeping. It's very good. Very good. Okay. Oh, we're on our period. We're on our period. Okay. Okay. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Okay, send alone. She's gonna go into work alone. And we can make her work hard. We can make her work hard, which raises her performance a little bit more. So she's just working on her little mischief skill. We're about halfway done, or halfway to level six with that. Yeah, yeah, we made it about halfway to level six with that. She's going to get some food. And then I think I'm going to have her do it again. TBH. Oh, someone's here. <gasps> oh, Johnny. He always shows up when we're eepy. Hugging. Oh. Okay, we should go to sleep. Johnny. Johnny. Oh, he was doing mischief on us. Yeah, we're gonna go to sleep. I think Johnny's just gonna, like, be chilling, I guess. I don't really... Don't really know. Johnny, you wanna go home, or... No? Johnny's just hanging out. Maybe he moved in closer to us. <laughs> Honestly, he's been here now like twice. <laughs> oh, what's today? Night on the town. Oh my god. Yes, that's perfect. We want to go on a date today, so... That's absolutely perfect. Okay. So we're going to follow her to work today. Oh. She's going to use bathroom. Cool. Right before work. Right before work. But we're going to follow her to work today. Um... Because we're really close to getting promoted, and I think she won't get promoted unless we go with her. And we're gonna kind of ignore everything and try to have a perfect day. <laughs> oh, we got promoted? She's been promoted to a serum sequencer, makes an additional $9 per hour, 48 per hour, received 312 a bonus, chemistry lab. Oh, she received a chemistry lab. Okay, and her next shift is Monday at 10 a.m. Okay, wake up, and then social, ask on a date, it's like 11, you're asking him on a date at 11 p.m., but he understands because, you know, you work late, you were tired at work, you probably told him that, let's take him on a date, we're hungry, we're hungry, it's okay, we'll go somewhere with food. We could go to the Stargazer Lounge, actually. I like this lot. It's cute. She is making a really weird face right now. Ignore that. But look how pretty they are together. She's really hungry, so like, ignore it. But look how pretty they are together. Also, he is handsome. I don't think I ever showed you guys really up close what he looked like. But like, he's handsome and he has gray eyes. The gray eyes, which is so cool. I don't know. That's so neat. Anyway, let's get this girly pop some food. Okay, they're on their little date. This pita and hummus doesn't look great. 
But they seem like they're having a really good time. She keeps telling him little jokes. He's getting in the pool. Oh my god. Oh my god, they just got in the pool. Oh my god, okay. Okay, things didn't start getting flirty until they were sitting by the pool. They've been goofing off a lot. Oh my god, Olive. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Okay, where are we going? Right here? <gasps> Look! Oh, a little chin kiss. Oh, that was so cute. That was so cute. Oh. So he's here at her place. She wants the woohoo with him. <laughs> she literally, she wants the woohoo with him. I have to leave now. I'm having a personal emergency. No, you were supposed to woohoo. His personal emergency was that he needed to pee. And then maybe later today we could hang out again. I feel like we need to get, um, or maybe we could go out, like, maybe we could go to, like, a club or something with, like, um, Johnny and Candy and Aleki and, like, kind of have them all meet Aleki. We could throw, or it's summer, why don't we throw a pool party somewhere? Oh my god. Johnny swimwear. <laughs> Candy looks really cute. Zoe looks adorable. <laughs> Johnny's eating it up, honestly. Oh, but he looks cute. I think this is like a literal styled look. Then here's a better like close up of his bathing suit look. And then let me see if I can get his tattoo better for you guys. Yeah, so it's like people hugging and then like the solar system around them. So I think he wants like a science girly. But everyone's just swimming some laps. It's pretty cute. Why don't we do a cannonball into the pool? Don't cannonball onto the child. Okay. Form, form. Dive disaster, oh my god. <laughs> Look at Candy and Kingo. Oh. <laughs> She's chatting with him. What is this? Oh. Is that Agatha? Oh. <laughs> no! I can't believe she just did that to us. Agnes. And she is just talking to Lucky after the party. And inviting him to stay the night again. So let's travel with him. And we're getting crumble bottomed again. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. And now they're going upstairs. He's like pretty tired. So he'll probably just go to sleep right after, which is fine. Oh, this toilet is kind of a nightmare. $400? Okay. Okay. They're woohooing. Oh, his outfit's cute. <laughs> he used a condom, nice. And break out the candles. Slay! Okay, they're having their first little woo-woo. Yay! It's lasting like a really long time. Finish it up. <gasps> Fireworks! Okay. First woohoo. Immediately. Observing the sky. Okay. Please don't get hit by a meteor. That's like all I ask of you. 
don't get hit by a meteor and you can do that, that's fine. Oh, oh they're just so flirty. <laughs> oh, my god. Are they going to woohoo? They're going to woohoo again. He's stinky. He's stinky and you're hungry. Um... <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna look the other way, I guess. Maybe we'll look out the telescope. <laughs> this is a nice view. Oh my god. No protection. He's- oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, get out of so here, Lucky. Go home, go home. He peed himself. That was- I'm not gonna judge them for what they what they like to do, but that's nice. that's a little freaky. I think we should clean our bed. <laughs> Honestly, she could have she could have gotten pregnant from that. Do I check? She's trolling the forums right now. Maybe we let her troll the forums, do her little form trolly thing. What? When will this pregnancy end? Never mind, we're taking a pregnancy test. Oh! She's pregnant! Oh my god! There's no way she got pregnant from the pee woohoo! Well, looks like second gin is on the way. We should probably invite him over to tell him. Right? We should we should probably invite him over. Acrophoba. Who drip? Uh <laughs> He's like, hey, what's going on? I don't know why he's so sad right now. Does he know? There's no way he knows. <laughs> We're telling him about the pregnancy, he's crying. Oh, she is crying. Shared sadness. I'm a terrible parent. My child will hate me. No, Olive. Shared dismay. Olive's partner fully understood how distraught she is at the news because they feel the exact same way. Both very upset about the pregnancy in general. Neither of them want, want a kid. So would the child be happier having both parents around? Would they both eventually learn to love the child? Or... Would it be better if just Olive takes the child and tries to raise them on her own? I was not expecting this to happen today, so this is where I think we're going to end the episode. Let me know in the comments below um, what you think Olive should do, because I, I'm not too sure. This is kind of a really wild way to end the episode. Um... Please let me know what you think Olive should do, if her and Aleki should get together, if they should break up and she should try to single parent this child. Um, either way, I'm really excited for the next episode. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you want to keep up with more content and keep up with this series. Um, and also, I guess start thinking about some baby names. I think that um, the next generation is going to all either use the letter R because it's the rose generation or be named after roses or flowers in general. I think that's the vibe. I'm not too sure. So be thinking about baby names, I guess. But goodbye, you guys. See you in the next one. All right. Bye.